Another day, another Web Studio update. Today, I'm going to show you how we've just added all of the different input fields for forms and how you can create a form and select these new inputs. We're gonna start off by diving right into the builder. Alrighty, in the builder here, you can see that I've created a simple form and this form just has a couple of text input fields as well as a text area field. Now before, the only options that we had for form fields were the ones that you could choose from the components. Now you can drop in a text field and convert that field to any of the other types you need to use. So I'm gonna simply select the text input that I've dropped in here. I'm gonna head over to settings. From here, you'll see a new option under type where you can change it from text to anything else. So you can see here, I'm gonna change from my text input. Let's say I wanted to change it to a color switcher, for example, I can select it there. And then on preview, if I do click on that field, it will open up the color box. And the same thing applies for any of the other field types. If I wanted to set you know, time or a month selector, I can select that here. And then I can put in the different dates and times. Um, slider, what else have we got? Password, range, week, URL, date, time, pretty much anything that you would ever need for a form field. And that covers our update for today. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see in the future video down in the comments below. Thank you very much for stopping by and for tuning in. Look forward to seeing what you create with, I look forward to seeing what you create with Web Studio. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one.